Hello everyone, I'm Bobby and I'll be talking about open educational resources and the Creative Commons license. In many conversations related to education, you might have heard other terms open educational resources and Creative Commons. These are often mentioned together and you might be wondering how or why they are related. First, let me explain the concept of copyright. So what is copyright? A copyright grants to its owner the right to control an intellectual or artistic creation, including the right to profit from others using the work in specific ways. Copyright protection extends not only to copies of the written word and recordings of sound, but to visual images such as photographs, animated images, motion pictures, or videotapes. As soon as you create something like the lyrics of a song, a drawing of a figure, or a photograph of a scene, you immediately and automatically have the copyright of your creation. Ideally, anyone who wants to use your creation should have your permission before using it in any way, with the exception of certain cases. Fair use is one of these exceptions. What is fair use? Fair use is a legal principle that provides certain limitations on copyrighted materials. As illustrative examples, under fair use, a teacher or researcher is allowed a rather limited amount of copying without the copyright owner's permission for purposes such as criticism, comments, news reporting, or teaching. Furthermore, depending on the country's law, 50 to 70 years after the creator or author dies, the creation becomes public domain. This also applies to books written before 1923. This means that anyone can use the work and even create derivatives of the work without asking for the author's permission. Examples of public domain works include Lewis Carroll's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, L. Frank Baum's The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, and music written by Beethoven. Except for public domain works and those that are considered as fair use, every expression of an idea is considered as protected by copyright. By now, these things might be on your mind. Isn't it so bothersome to always ask for the creator's permission whenever you want to use a copyrighted work? What if I just want to freely share something that I've created without letting the user bother me for permission? What if I want to give them limited rights, such as only distributing my materials for free or not changing my work? Well, that's where the Creative Commons framework comes in. What is the Creative Commons framework? Creative Commons is a nonprofit organization that enables the sharing and use of creativity and knowledge through free legal tools. Creative Commons free, easy to use copyright licenses provide a simple, standardized way to give the public permission to share and use your work on condition of your choice. CC licenses let you easily change your copyright terms from the default of all rights reserved to some rights reserved. They work alongside copyright and enable you to modify your copyright terms to best suit your needs. Creative Commons licenses have both legal versions and human readable versions. This means that they're compatible with a legal framework all around the world and are easy to understand by your intended users. Here are some common Creative Commons licenses. CC BY, it means that you're allowing people to use your materials or your work as long as they acknowledge you, the creator. If you add NC or non-commercial use, then you're telling them not to sell your work. If you add ND or no derivatives, then you are allowing them to use your work but not make any changes to your work. 
If you put SA or share alike, then you're allowing them to use your work and distribute your work. But if they do distribute your work, they have to distribute it in the same way as you released it. So if you released it as CC by NCSA, then they should also release it as CC by NCSA. There's also this license called CC0, which means that anyone can use your work without even acknowledging you as the creator. The latest version of the Creative Commons license is 4.0. With Creative Commons, you can easily look for images, music, and even books without having to ask permission from the owner, as long as you follow the conditions dictated by the Creative Commons license. This also means that you can easily share your work using any of the Creative Commons licenses or license types that I have shared earlier. Now, how are all these related to open educational resources? Well, open educational resources or OER are works that can be used for educational purposes and can be distributed freely. Most creators license their OER using Creative Commons so that we, the users, do not have to ask them for permission to use them as long as we follow their conditions. For example, as long as we acknowledge them as the creator of the image or the author of the book we're using in our class or online course, then we're fine. As creators, we can also easily share our work using the Creative Commons licensing framework so that we can release our poem, our book, our photo, or our video as an open educational resource. I hope that this video has empowered you with knowledge on how to properly use and distribute open educational resources with Creative Commons. Cheers, and please subscribe to my channel for more educational videos.